Hello everyone, I am Sharan Shruti Sahab. Today I am going to present my seminar topic Detection of Abnormalities in Medical Images, Instant Segmentation Approaches under the guidance of Prof. Shuya Shakaji. Generally, when patient got some headache or any problem with his head, he goes for checkup and doctor prescribes for MRI or CT scan. From this scan, this type of tomographic image is generated. Now, if we feed this image into some deep neural network based instant segmentation model, it will detect if there is any tumor present in, in it or not, and if present, where is the location of it. Here we will see what is the difference between the image and, and instant segmentation. The left side of the image is depicting the image segmentation part and the right side is the instant segmentation part. Now we can see that in the image segmentation, there are only three types of classes and it has classified all the same types of objects like circle, square in the same class. But the main problem is we also want the, to differentiate between the objects of the same class as well. But the only image segmentation cannot do it. For this reason, we need instant segmentation approach as well. Here, so what is actually the instant segmentation term means? It is basically differentiates between the different objects of the same class as well as the other class and it classify them separately. Here is the steps of instant segmentation model. At first, the input image is fed into the backbone network that is generally made of the multiple layer of CNNs from, the, from which we can get the feature maps as the output and it is fed into the region proposal network that is named as the RP network. RP network gives the regions which has the high probability of having the image in it. Then it is fed into the instant segmentation mask model and after generating the mask we will do the non-max suppression to get the final instant mask of that image. The first approach is the mask RCNN model which is an extension of the foster RCNN model. At first from the backbone back network we will generate the feature maps then after getting the regions of proposals, it is using the ROI alignment method instead of ROI pooling to prevent the data loss. That was a major problem in the foster RCNN model. Then the mask head will generate the masks, thus the instant segmentation is performed and this model outperforms all the single level models. The second approach is the DDS FCN model that is called also discriminative deep supervision with fully convolutional network. The DDS module is used for the pixel level instance extraction and it's, it adds extra semantic information to the encoder decoder model. The input image is at first will go into the decoder network, the encoder network and then from the each level of the encoder network it will go into the dec decoder network as well. With the decoder network output and the extra semantic information is concatenated and for that reason the instant segmentation is being more accurate than the other methods. The third model is named, named as the segmenting objects by location or solo. It doesn't depending on the bounding, bounding box to generate the mask of the image. It is assuming that almost every object will have the different object center location and size. The input image is fed into the pyramid, uh, feature pyramid network and then the fully convolutional network. After that, the output is divided into two parallel branches. That one is the category branch and another, another is the mask branch. With the help of these two parallel branches, instant segmentation is performed and it is less computationally efficient. So when there are too many objects in a particular location, if we using the bounding box approach for the instant segmentation method, that is the conventional method, there will be too many anchor boxes in the same area. This is actually the computationally less efficient, efficient and due to the high number of anchor boxes, also we cannot do the classification properly. To remove this issue, we should focus on efficient one-step approaches which do not need the bounding boxes for the instant segmentation task. We will also try to build such type of efficient one-step instance model in future. So these are the some of the our references we have used for this seminar report. Thank you.